quiz. What's rose gold and chocolate all over and is so freaking fabulous? Give up? Why, it's the Waldman Tuscany fountain pen. That's right. I have this beautiful, very luxurious pen in my hands to show you today. And you know, I've actually been using the pen for, oh, I guess about a couple of weeks now. And you know, I really just, <laughs> when I first received it, I inked up right away and just started writing with it. I couldn't help myself. So the review for it got a little delayed and, uh, you know, basically I finally just said, you know, I, I just need to redo this. So I'll rinse out the pen and rebox it and show it to you guys just so you get the full experience of what it's like to see a Waldman pen such as the Waldman Tuscany. So the Waldman pen comes in a black box with the Waldman logo on it, but this is just the outside box. Inside is another black box, but it's much fancier. I mean, this is like, it's got kind of this leatherette texture to it with the Waldman logo. It feels like a really nice box that you get when you buy a really fine piece of jewelry. So, I mean, even the front closure here is just, it's top notch. So once you open this up, inside is the pen which is in a plastic sleeve. And it also has a little note that comes with it. And it says, right here, this high-end writing instrument has a cap with a screw system. Please, for the love of the pen, do not pull the cap off. So, that being said, <laughs> I will not pull the cap off. Before I look at the pen, let's go ahead and look at what's underneath this false bottom. So we've got a couple little things in here. So let's go through this. It comes with a little box of six cartridges in blue. Um, excuse me, it's royal blue. Converter. A pretty much a warranty card. So if anything happens to your luxurious pen, it's sure to get fixed up for you. And it also comes with this little tag, it says Sterling Silver 925. And there's a reason for that. The reason is because this pen, even though it looks brown and rose gold, is made of sterling silver. That's right. So it's fancier than you thought, huh? Yeah. It's not just brass covered in lacquer. No. It's sterling silver covered in rose gold and brown lacquer. Chocolate brown lacquer. And my goodness, who doesn't like chocolate? I mean, this is truly a decadent pen. Such a treat to be able to have a pen like this. So it has a spring loaded clip and it has a beautiful pin striped cap. On the clip right here, you can see there's the Waldman logo. The finial is just, well, it's a mirror, but it does have a slight angle to it, which makes it a little more dynamic looking in appearance. The bottom of the cap has Waldman and then on the back of it says made in Germany. So far, I'm just wowed by the cap. You know, I could just carry the cap around and be happy with it because it's so beautiful. But what I like about it is at the end of this beautiful chocolate barrel, you have a little rose gold appointment to kind of balance out this color scheme. Now, you might notice upon first look, as I've been touching the pen, it is unfortunately, it is a fingerprint magnet. But that's okay, I usually carry around, and I maybe I'm just one of these weirdos that do so, but I usually carry around a little cloth to wipe it down after I'm done using it before I put it back in my pen case, just because the fingerprints might drive me a little nuts. Just a little bit. 
Okay, let's take a look at the nib. So the cap does see I'm screwing it off. I have paid attention to the notice that comes with it because my goodness, it was a very direct statement in my box there. So we've got a rose gold section and an 18 karat gold nib. Look at the nib, not the section. Yes, it's metal, but gosh, it's gorgeous. Come on guys, it has this beautiful tapered flare at the end of it, so your fingers, it will help prevent that sliding action. Okay, so that's there. The metal section is, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, but the nib, 18 karat gold nib, and it is a medium nib. There's what the feed looks like. The one gripe I do have about this pen is that the 18 karat gold nib is not rose gold plated just like it should be to match the trim. That's just a personal preference, but it doesn't at all make me like the pen any less. In fact, I think it's fine. I can live with it. I really can. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I kind of like those nice little details where things match perfectly and et cetera, et cetera. So it is a cartridge converter. So when you take the barrel off the pen, you have this empty cartridge. And I believe that's just to protect the inside of your section. That's my guess, my educated opinion. For the sake of just doing this now, because I'll be, you know, it's gonna be in there later. I'm gonna go ahead and put the converter in. And it is an international, an international converter. So this can take international cartridges, which is great. So when you run out of ink, have these with you just in case of emergency. So how many twists does it take to take the cap off? Let's check it out real quick. All right, so got it fully on and I like it's just nice and flush, great design. One, two and a half, two and a half twists. And let's go ahead and post the pen because if you notice at the end of the barrel, it is tapered slightly uh, for a nice fit on to, for, the, for a nice fit for the cap to fit on. So it does fit in there nice and snug. And here's what it looks like posted. It's a highly attractive pen, right? It's very beautiful. I'm a big fan of the rose gold trim. I don't know if I've ever said that before on these videos, but I really am. Seriously, like huge fan, huge fan of rose gold. I think it's glorious, but I think this pen is glorious. I do. Came highly recommended to me by Penboy Roy, of course, who he, he got one and he just, you know, he was like, dude, you got to try this pen. I was like, okay. So I made arrangements to get one. I did purchase it, just so you know, and um, I'm glad I did. I thought it, it's money well spent. I do believe that. Also, from what I've seen of the Waldman Tuscany, it retails, it actually comes in a steel and a gold nib. So if you're not um, ready to take the plunge and spend the money on the gold nib, the steel nib retails around $300. And then for about $100 more, you can get the 18 karat gold nib. So I have not personally tried the Waldman uh, steel nib yet. I have done the gold and I'm kind of curious, you know, actually I am kind of curious to see how the steel, the steel nib performs, uh, just to see the comparison. Um, but now you know that there is a reason, a more reasonably priced method of getting one of these beautiful Waldman pens. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this beautiful pen up and let's see how that 18 karat gold nib writes. Although I already know how it writes because I've been using the pen, but I want you, I want you to see how it writes. So I'm going to go through the whole unboxing process again, ink the pen up and perform a fabulous and exciting writing sample.
you so much for joining me for this look at the Waldman Tuscany fountain pen. It is decadent. It is fabulous. It is luxurious. And it is highly recommended by me. I'm not kidding. This is a nice pen. I mean, it's making me want more Waldman pens. Oh, that's so bad. Good thing they didn't include a catalog in this packaging because I'd be done. I'd be broke for the next few months. <laughs> but I do highly recommend this pen. The nib is awesome. Just awesome. Now, Walman isn't at all the retailers yet, but it's coming. It will be here soon. I got my info from a very reliable source. In fact, I got it from Bryce over at Luxury Brands. That's the company that distributes Walman. And he has told me that you will soon be seeing Walman carried by Goldspot, Atlas Stationers, and Penn Chalet. At the moment, the retailer that I know that definitely carries Walman is Lavenger Online. And from what I can say at this time, they're having a pretty good sale on these pens. So go check it out. Don't miss out. And I think they even have, they might have a thing if you create an account with them, they might provide a discount code, but I'm not for sure. So please don't mark my words, but go check it out. And um, that's really all I have to say about it. Yeah. And that's how the ink flows. Mm -hmm.